For decades, this has been one of the most revolutionary, controversial, and exclusively American technologies in the sky, the tilt rotor, a machine that marries the vertical takeoff and landing flexibility of a helicopter with the speed and range of a fixed-wing airplane. It is a game-changing capability that has given the U.S. Marine Corps unparalleled reach and speed on the battlefield. But the American monopoly on this hard-won technology is now definitively over. What you are looking at is not one, but a family of new Chinese tilt-rotor aircraft, and they are already in flight testing. From uncrewed drones to manned prototypes, a multi-pronged effort is underway. In August of this year, photos already surfaced showing that China's Harbin Aircraft Industry Group was testing a tilt-rotor aircraft resembling the Leonardo AW609. Now, another Chinese company, United Aircraft, has also released test flight images of a six-ton class unmanned tilt-rotor aircraft. The emergence of a high-speed, long-range, runway-independent fleet like this has profound implications for the military balance in the Indo-Pacific. Today, we're going to break down what we know about those mysterious aircraft, dissect their uncanny resemblance to their Western rivals, and explore how they could solve one of the biggest strategic problems facing the Chinese military. Let's get right to it. What exactly are we looking at here? It's crucial to understand that this isn't a single aircraft program. China appears to be pursuing at least two distinct but complementary tilt-rotor designs simultaneously. First, the uncrewed workhorse, the R6000 Steel Shadow. This is a large, uncrewed tilt-rotor drone from a company called United Aircraft, and it has just begun tethered hover tests. According to the company's own specifications, it's a substantial aircraft, about 39 feet long with a 57-foot wingspan. Its projected performance numbers are impressive. A cruise speed of nearly 300 knots, about 340 miles per hour, and a mission radius of over 900 miles. That's a huge reach for an aircraft that doesn't need a runway. Next is the unnamed manned tilt-rotor prototype. This second aircraft, which currently has no official public name, is a complete surprise. The photos, which appeared on social media, show at least two prototypes. For anyone familiar with aviation, its design immediately brings one specific aircraft to mind the Leonardo AW609. The overall size, the high-mounted wing, the T-shaped tail, it's all in the same class. The AW609 is a smaller, Italian-designed civilian tilt-rotor. To put it in perspective, the AW609 has a maximum takeoff weight of around eight tons. The V-22 Osprey is a beast at nearly 24 tons. This new Chinese aircraft appears to be playing in that same lightweight category, likely designed to carry around a dozen passengers. But here is the most critical and revealing detail, common to both of these new Chinese designs. They appear to have leapfrogged the first generation of technology. In the V-22 Osprey, the entire engine pod, or nacelle, rotates from vertical to horizontal. It's a mechanically complex system that has contributed to the V-2022's difficult service history. The Bell V-280 Valor introduced a revolutionary new design where the engines remain fixed horizontally and only the rotor gearbox and mast pivot up and down. This is considered a second-generation tilt-rotor design intended to be simpler and more reliable. And from what we can see in the available imagery, that is exactly the system China has implemented on its new aircraft. This isn't just inspiration. It's an attempt to bypass decades of painful lessons the U.S. learned with the V-22 and go straight to a more mature, second-generation tilt-rotor design. So China is building a family of advanced tilt-rotors. The big question is, why take on such an immense challenge? To understand the answer, you have to understand the fundamental promise and peril of this technology. The promise is the best of both worlds. A tilt-rotor can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but once airborne, it can fly with the speed and range of a conventional turboprop airplane. It's a game-changing capability. The peril, however, is that the engineering required to make this work is monumentally difficult and expensive. The V-22 Osprey's development was plagued by delays, massive cost overruns, and a series of tragic, fatal accidents. Even today, after years of service, it remains a maintenance-heavy aircraft with readiness rates that are often less than stellar. 
even the much smaller civilian AW609 has had a punishing two-decade-long development cycle, suffering its own fatal prototype crash in 2015. The bottom line is, building a successful tilt rotor is one of the toughest challenges in aerospace engineering. The fact that China is not only attempting it across multiple programs, but have flying prototypes, is a testament to the growing sophistication and ambition of its aviation industry. And make no mistake, while these aircraft will almost certainly be marketed publicly for civilian use, their military potential is undeniable. And that potential is laser-focused on one region, the Indo-Pacific. The modern military environment here is all about distance and access. The vast expanses of ocean are dotted with small islands and reefs. Conventional runways are few and far between. This is the exact environment where a tilt rotor thrives. For the People's Liberation Army, this technology solves several critical problems. First, the island chain lifeline. China has spent the last decade building a constellation of heavily fortified, man-made island outposts throughout the South China Sea. These bases are crucial to China's territorial security, but they are also isolated. A tilt rotor fleet offers a lifeline. The uncrewed R6000 could provide a high-speed, aerial logistics bridge, delivering critical supplies and parts. The manned version could rapidly move key personnel, special forces, or evacuate the wounded, all much faster than a conventional helicopter and with more flexibility than a fixed-wing plane. Second, the naval force multiplier. Its most significant role would likely be at sea. China is in the midst of a massive naval expansion, which includes a growing fleet of large amphibious assault ships. These ships are the ideal platforms to deploy a fleet of tilt rotors. From the deck of a Type 075 or the new Type 076, these new aircraft would create a tactical nightmare for any adversary. The uncrewed R6000, with their 900-mile combat radius, could fan out and act as long-range over-the-horizon scouts, hunting for enemy ships and providing targeting data. The manned version could insert special operations forces deep behind enemy lines, or conduct combat search and rescue missions with unprecedented speed and range. Now let's be clear about the scale. Those new tilt rotor aircraft are small. They can't replace China's workhorse transport helicopters like the Z-8 and Z-18. It simply doesn't have the payload capacity for heavy lifting. Instead, it would likely serve as a supplementary asset, taking over roles currently filled by smaller helicopters. This suggests a very deliberate crawl-walk-run strategy. The crawl phase was years of research and analysis to understand the core principles of Western designs. The walk phase is what we are seeing now, building these smaller, more manageable prototypes. This allows China's engineers to master the incredibly complex physics and mechanics of tilt rotor flight on a less risky scale. The run phase will come later, using the lessons learned from these initial programs to build a larger V-22-sized equivalent in the future. Those new aircraft don't exist in a vacuum. It's part of a much broader push by Beijing to master every facet of modern military aerospace technology. This pattern reveals a clear strategy, develop dual-use technologies that can serve both commercial and military interests, allowing them to advance their industrial base while simultaneously strengthening their military. So what's the final verdict on China's mysterious new tilt rotors? The appearance of these flying prototypes will not change the military balance in the Pacific overnight. The road from a first flight to a fully operational, reliable, and mass-produced fleet is incredibly long, expensive, and filled with potential setbacks. China has years, if not a decade or more, of work ahead to mature this technology. But what these aircraft truly represent is a powerful symbol of ambition and progress. They demonstrate that China is no longer content to simply copy older designs. They are actively tackling the most challenging and advanced concepts in aerospace, and they are learning at an astonishing rate. These tilt rotors are stepping stones. They are research labs, training grounds, and a clear statement of intent. They are purpose-built tools for the defining geopolitical challenge of the 21st century the contest for control over the vast island chains of the Indo-Pacific. And while these particular aircraft may be the first generation, the shadow they cast over the future of that competition is very, very large.